Hello and welcome to the behind the scenes from the Spud's House cinematic tour. I'm Mark Spud G, the mastermind behind the video, the build, and I'm going to give you a glimpse of how this particular video was done. It is one of my favorite Minecraft videos I have ever done, and also one of my favorite videos as far as cinematography and stuff. And I'm really proud of how it turned out. Instead of me rambling on and on on how this video looks and how awesome it is, how about we just dive right in? Ending shot and puddle effect. The ending shot is actually played at full speed. I could not get it to look sped up and get it really smooth and with the frame rate and have it match the time slot at the same time. So playing it at full speed was my only option. This shot wasn't actually intentional. It's just one of the things I was messing around with when I was recording the video. And I wanted to get this really long shot, so I was like, okay, let's just go for it. And I'm glad that I actually did this one. I think it's a nice wrap-up, and it fits the ending of the song nicely. Speaking of the ending of the song, I felt that the song ended a little bit differently than most other ones. It didn't just fade out to black kind of a thing. It had like a slight waviness to it. Almost like a uh, Wawa effect, almost, but not quite, you know. So, I felt that Fade to Black wouldn't do the video footage justice. So, I added this little puddle of, of effect kind of thing. It's like like you threw a stone on the video and you see the waves wave out. I felt it kind of fit it, you know. I, it wasn't the best thing, but I felt that, you know, the, it gave a little bit more grounding as to why the waviness is there. And after a lot of trial and error, it was to my liking and made it into the final video.